Now, this is an interesting conversation that we kind of started but never finished yesterday off camera. Uh, you brought up the question, should NHL seasonal games be played internationally? Because mm-hmm. we just saw those two games in Finland. Uh, Winnipeg played Florida twice. And you actually asked a question about this to a Sportsnet employee. <laughs> oh, yeah. you, you reached out to John Shannon of Sportsnet, and he replied to you. You, you just tweeted him. Yeah. And, and he tweeted back. It was harmless. It what, was like what was this your, one little thing. What was your question? Basically, I asked him how, because I like the business of sports, basically. And I said, how does compensation work for teams who give up a home game to play? So, like, how does, like, Winnipeg... Or they're giving up a game, obviously, to to play this game. And how do they get paid for that? Like, how does the ownership get paid for that game? Yeah, because teams make a lot of money from home games. That's right. Like, that's where they make... Some of the teams, like the lower-end teams, they make most of their money from their ticket sales. Yeah. And the rest of it comes from small revenues or revenue sharing. So I was just wondering, like, how does this how does this work? And he replied and said that um, basically it's they get paid by the NHL uh, an average of one of their games... That gets work. So if they played seven home games this season, they take the average amount of what they've they've made and then give them... It might be. I don't know if it's the average of... Or is it the previous season? I think it might be just an average overall, maybe 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 factoring the previous season too. Is because it, there's preseason games too that happen, so they'd have to figure that out. So they'd have, oh, to that's use, true. they'd have to use data from... I think they just have like some numbers. Like They have all kinds of analytics at is their it, office. Is it team-specific or NHL-specific? That's a good question. He wasn't specific on that. I assume mm. it's team-specific. It because probably has to be. Because, um, you know, Toronto Maple Leafs would be making more, obviously, than Buffalo would yeah. be making. So I don't think if if Toronto had a game in Finland or wherever, I don't think they would pay them the average of everyone. I think they would have to kind of give them their own average because otherwise why would they agree to do that? Well, the league average is probably about 50% higher than Florida's home average. That's right. So they'd be making a mint mm-hmm. playing in Finland. So, yeah, it would have to be team-specific for sure because mm-hmm. the NHL's cheap and they they don't want to pay any money they don't have to. And I was one of these people that, that didn't like having – I don't – like, if you would have asked me this question like a week and a half ago, I would have said I hate the idea of going overseas in the middle of a season to have games that count. Like, I, I don't like that at all. Pre, think, preseason is whatever. Yeah, preseason's fine for, like for me. Like, Calgary went across. Like, that's fine. You yeah. did it before it started. And it kind of... Some people argue that that affected the start of their season because of the, the jet yeah. lag coming back yeah. and whatever. But when the season's going, I wasn't down with it. But then coming back to Discord again, there's actually people that live there that went to those games and they had an amazing experience. So I don't know if it's right for me to deny that experience for those hockey fans that get to see games at prime time in their time zone. Yeah. So do you think there's any less value for them seeing a preseason game versus a regular season game? I would say probably not, but I think the fact that it means something means the players are probably going to try harder. Yeah. Because these countries like Finland has the SM Liga and mm-hmm. they have their own teams and their own league, or whatever, but there's a lot of people from Finland there's who a, follow the NHL. There's a lot. Because there's a lot of Finnish players mm-hmm. in the NHL. Like, so like Joel Armia. <laughs> like overall I'd say I would say I probably still don't like the idea of it if I had to pick one like yeah. if I'm not allowed to be on the fence about this issue but I I do see the value of people who are there who are fans because there are a lot of fans like we've seen through this channel oh, there yeah. are an enormous amount of fans overseas and there is value in in entertainment in them being able and and it's awesome for them Oh absolutely so I don't know I if it was my choice i would say let's keep it to the preseason which kind of sucks because maybe your full lineup's not there maybe people are recovering still from like you know summer surgeries they had out in the off season like maybe they're not trying as hard because they're just over there and they're yeah you know they're on the town at night they're checking things out when it's when it's in the season you know there there's there's tight schedules you're not allowed at night you're eating your normal meals you're you're doing your workouts you're doing your practice we need these two points so for that reason, I don't like it, but I also for that it's the same reason I think that that's what makes it great for them too because they're seeing a meaningful game. Absolutely. So, in the end, I am on the fence about it still. If I had to choose, I don't like it, but for <laughs> the people that do get to go see them, and there are people that we've actually talked to that have seen them, yeah, I think that's awesome for them. It is awesome, and I think that here's a question for you: How would you feel about an entire playoff series being played over there? starting before all the other series like a couple days before and they are they, they get to finish like 
five days ahead of, of everyone else. So they have that rest period to come back and stuff. For me, I wouldn't mind that because I'm not in a market where that team is. If, if I, as a Boston fan, lived in Boston and they said the first round of Boston-Montreal is going to be oh, yeah. in, you know, Russia or wherever, I would be like, what the frig is that? Yeah. But if it's just a TV game and they can kind of make the time work, I guess it would be an earlier afternoonish game. For, yeah. the West, for the West Coast, it would be terrible. Because oh, yeah, it'd be, it'd be bad. For us, we're, we're actually usually an hour ahead of typical yeah, North so America. We're four hours behind, I think, Finland mm-hmm. or five. So, yeah, so for us, it wouldn't be too bad. <laughs> I think overall people wouldn't like it if you were to poll people. They would say, no, we don't like that idea. I wouldn't care because I'm not going to that game anyway. It's, yeah, that's it's, true. It's yeah. fine. Like, it's fine I, I don't, I don't, it's, I'm going to watch it on TV anyway. It's, it is what it is. It gives a chance. But I think overall, if you were to ask people in general, like if NHL put a poll out, I think it would be pretty strongly like 70, 80%. They'd say, no, yeah, keep the games here. I agree. Well, let us know down in the comments what you think about, about that. But I think if you were asking those people from, you know, Sweden or Finland or wherever, they would say, yes, bring like, that. Heck yeah. yeah. They would bring that here. But, <laughs> Absolutely. But like, like, I don't think. There's no way the NHL could make enough money off those compared to what the, oh, the, no. the main cities could charge. Like, you're not going to go international and charge people more for the tickets than you would have made here. Mm. So the NHL has no reason to spend an entire series paying basically the two teams yeah. to do that. Like, right now, it's marketing. We, we go over for two games, we come back. We're trying to grow the game, et cetera, et cetera. I can't see them ever doing a playoff like that just because the, the, the money doesn't work out. But... I think for the people that were there, they would love that, obviously. And the people that were here, they were like, I'm on the fence again, I guess. How would you feel about, like, well, so you we'll keep with the Finland trend here. If a team in Finland uh, in the SM Liga came over and played uh, an NHL team for a preseason game. That would be fine. It would be awesome, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I think that would be really cool because that happens in Europe. Teams play each other from different leagues. The kind of the problem with our generation that the previous generation didn't have is we know everything yeah it's so easy to follow any team you want it's so easy to to just know who the players are there's no mystery anymore like exactly back, like like for our dads when they were watching like the 70s you didn't know necessarily the player because you only had three channels that were hockey <laughs> yeah. you know, hockey night in canada on saturday covered two games or three games or whatever and that's basically what you got for the week maybe one during the weekday now hockey's on Every night, you yeah, can see you can everything. Watch you replays watch. and there's, there's social media. There's yeah. clips. There's you, you're like you're informed. If you want to know something, it's so easy. It's 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 too much. It's, like, it's it's you can't keep up with it. It is. Yeah, and like I live and breathe hockey, and I can't keep up with, it, yeah. with everything. So it's hard. Yeah. So so basically, the mystery of the unknown isn't there. So I think having you know the top team of other leagues coming in, I think that would be actually pretty cool, just to see how the best of yeah. that league, you know, works against. A team, like not the best of the NHL, just a team in the NHL, and I think that could be kind of cool. I think it would be competitive. I think it, it would be depending it, on like you could like if you took one of the bottom teams in the NHL and you put them against the best team, there's a very good chance they could probably win. Absolutely. And then if you just pick like you know an average middle team or upper middle team, yeah. and then put them against the best, I think it would actually be pretty competitive. Yeah, I'd like to see that. I'd really like to see that actually. If that was going to happen, would you want to see it on NHL ice or Olympic ice? Uh, NHL ice. Yeah, me too. Yeah, NHL ice. I think. It, in, international ice is fine. I don't hate it or anything, but just used to. It's funny to how I find with the Olympic ice, there's there's or international ice, there's more space, but it's almost like there's less space when you're watching the game. I don't find there's more plays with the bigger ice. It's, it's just it people. I don't know if it's just because people don't adapt to it because they're used to the smaller. But yeah, I don't. I just find everything's more condensed and there's more action when you when you have the smaller. I find ice. there's less hits. There's definitely less hits. International ice, more room to move and stuff. But yeah. For the most part, I mean, the game's exactly the same. 